Hey everyone, this is Brian Marino with Apex Software. And in this video, I wanted to share with you all an update. I just got the Apex Sketch version X that optimized it to run on my iPhone 13 Pro Max. Keep in mind this will run on iPhone as well as Android phones. So anyone who's interested in checking this out, Look at the description below. There will be a link you can go sign up for the Sketch Portal and get 60 days free. Also, if you know anyone who would be interested in this, feel free to like, share, and or subscribe so you don't miss out on any updates. But with all of that out of the way, let's get into sketching on my iPhone. So what you're looking at here is the Apex Sketch Portal on my iPhone. I'm going to go ahead and tap on the New Sketch button, and I'll get a property record card. I'm going to go ahead and enter the address that I want to use for this sketch. So we'll go ahead and enter the address, and as you're typing, it'll start auto-populating addresses. Once you see the address you want, just go ahead and tap on it, and it will auto-fill the rest of it for you. If you want to fill out any subject info, you can do that here as well. I'm going to go ahead and leave all of that blank, and I'm going to tap OK. Once you hit OK, that's going to bring you into AVX. So from this point, we're ready to start sketching. So to do so, I'm going to tap on the Menu button at the top left, and it'll give me a drawing toolbar. I'm going to use the draw area icon, which is the second icon down. And when I tap on that icon, you'll notice it brings up a, a direction pad and a number pad at the bottom. So that's going to work just like any other version of Apex you use. You're going to sketch by entering the distance of the wall, tapping the direction you want to go, then tapping enter. So using my finger, I'm just going to drag it up to the top, tap enter, and I'm going to go ahead and just draw out a quick sketch. I'm not going to go into too much detail on you know, how to do it. I will release an updated video in the near future that will give you tips and tricks on how to use this. All right, so I'm just entering distances and directions. Seven down, enter. Ten right, enter. Three down, enter. When I draw off screen, it'll follow me. If I wanted to bring everything into view, I can tap the center and fit button and it'll bring it all into view. I can tap and hold a direction for alignment. We can draw angles like we always have. So I'll go two down and then two left to start a bay window. Then we'll go six left. Then I'll tap B on my keyboard to mirror that first angle. We can also draw larger angled walls like we always have. So let's say we have a 20 foot wall going to the left and it's 53 degrees. And type in 20L53, tap enter and it'll draw it for me. Tap enter a second time to place it. We can draw 90 degree walls off of angles. So if I do 15R, enter, there's a 15 foot wall to the right at 90. We can quickly square up by using the witness line. So I'm just gonna tap on the 8.9 and it'll draw that for me. If I tap the bullseye, it'll draw a line up to where I started and close it. Using my finger, I'm gonna drag the cursor over to the top right corner, tap enter, and I'm gonna draw a porch. So we'll go 10 down, 10 right, and I'll make this one a curved corner. So I'm gonna tap the curve icon at the top to curve it, tap enter to place it, and we'll draw a line down to that corner to close it. Then I'll come down here and let's add in a garage quickly. So we'll go 15 up, tap and hold. So we have everything drawn. So the next step would be to identify what these areas are. So I'm gonna tap on the menu icon, go to the house icon, which is define area, and I'm gonna select my first floor first. Notice it highlights it in blue. I'll come down to the bottom right and tap on define area, and that'll give me a list of all my areas. In this case, I wanna use GLA one first floor, and I'll tap apply. Next, I'll tap in the porch, tap define area, select porch, apply. Tap in the garage, define area, garage, apply. So now all of our areas are defined. So let's say next we want to go in and add a few text labels, a couple of symbols, and maybe some interior walls to this sketch. So to do that, I'm going to go back to the menu button and we'll start with text labels. I'm going to go down and tap the text icon and it'll pop up the text library. We'll go ahead and pick kitchen, apply. I'm just going to drag it with my finger drop it where I want it. We'll go ahead and tap the text library button. It'll bring the text library back up and we can do living room, apply, drag and drop that where it goes. Tap text library. We'll come down for office, apply, drag it down where it goes. Text library, we'll do a bath, apply. Let's say we want to rotate it. I can just tap and drag to rotate and then drag it where I want it and place it. And we have our text labels added. Next, let's add some symbols. So I'll come back to the menu button, select the symbol icon. I'll get a list of all my different symbols. We'll go ahead and do a double garage door. Apply, drag it down. It'll auto rotate when you put it on a wall 
just tap anywhere in the blank grid to place it. We'll tap symbol library again. We'll go ahead and find a single flight of stairs, apply it, and we will drop that right here. Let's go ahead and add a couple of freeform walls. So I'll come into freeform, which is the second draw icon, the blue one. I'll get my cursor, tap enter, and we'll go six up, six over, and then come down. Let's just say there's a little room here we needed to draw. So you can go ahead and draw that out and you have your freeform interior wall. I'm gonna come back and go to edit. Let's say we wanna put that word bath in there, drag it in. So we can quickly annotate our sketch, add in freeform, symbols, text. Once we're done with the sketch, we can come and check our calculation. So I'll go back to the menu button, tap the bottom icon, which is calcs, and it'll give me a, a list of all the areas drawn and what the square footages of them are. If I tap in an area, it'll actually highlight it and give me a breakdown of it there on the right side. So I can tap in the garage and see the details of it if I need to. Same with the porch. If I go to summary, It'll fly up and give me an even more detailed view of everything. But once we're finished, we can go ahead and tap on Save and Close at the top right. And when we do that, it'll save your sketch. So you'll notice the address showed up. I have a little green check next to it. So now I'm going to switch over to my desktop view, and I'm going to show you how to get this sketch from your phone into your appraisal program quickly and easily through Apex 7. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna open Apex as you normally would through your appraisal software. So whether you're using Total, ClickForms, Appraise-It, ACI, whichever appraisal software you're using, go ahead and launch Apex 7 like you normally would. So I'm gonna just open it from the desktop icon here. Once Apex opens, you're gonna come to the Sketch Portal tab at the top, and you're gonna go to Portal Import. Now you would have already been signed into your account. I'm already signed in, but as you can see, that sketch I just drew on my phone just showed up on my screen here in my portal import window. So if I select that address, I can see a preview of what I just drew. I can see a breakdown of what areas are drawn. So I can kind of confirm what is in this sketch before I even import it. But once I confirm, yes, this is the correct sketch I want to put into this report, I'm going to go ahead and click import and it's going to bring that sketch into Apex 7 as we drew it on the phone. And then from this point, all we need to do is close and save the sketch and it'll transfer everything into your appraisal software. So again, I wanted to give everyone a quick demo of this release I just received and put out the offer that if anyone's interested in trying this out, check the description below. You can go sign up and get a 60 day free trial of this and try it out and see if it'll work for your needs. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. If you know anyone who would be interested, like, share, and or subscribe. Otherwise, I will catch y'all on the next one.